Someone paid $1,300 for a comic book that I've seen in the dollar bin at least 10 times over. If you want to know what that book is, go grab your vibe juice and meet us back here in the comic room. And let's iron this thing out. A lot of spending going on this past week. Comic books are moving on the secondary market. There's a lot of information being passed along about up and coming movies. We've got a lot to talk about. Like, subscribe, make sure you hit that share button so that we get to a lot of people. I'm your boy C3 and you already know what it is. It's Keep It Comics, baby. This is the market update for you. Yes, for you, the comic book community. I do it for the love. I do it for the culture, baby. But most importantly, I do it for the good vibes. <laughs> I've got 10 comic books that I want to share with you, keep you informed on what's up, what's down, what's moving on the secondary market so that you can make an informed decision on what you might or might not want to add to your collection. We're going to start the list off like this at number 10. First, we want to take a look at one of the hot new releases on the market. Let's talk about the Ultimate Black Panther, issue number one. Yes, my friends. And this is that Karen Darbo variant. Yeah, the Ultimates. The Ultimates, these new Ultimate books that have been released have been doing well on the secondary market. Ultimate Black Panther, issue number one. It's the first appearance of Black Panther, Earth 6160. This book is up. 13.57% increase in copies that have sold. We have an average of $21 for the raw copy. Last recorded sell for this book was $30, my friends, with the average sell being $50. There's been a total of 117 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. We had a high sell that took place back on March 6th, <clears throat> excuse me, for CGC 9.8, and that book sold for $70. But fair market value has this book resting at $21 for the raw copy in their mint condition. So keep your eye out on the Ultimate Black Panther issue number one. I myself have read this book. It's got a great storyline in it. It's off to an excellent start. I'm going to keep my eye on this book because I'm extremely interested in how this, this run of the Ultimate Black Panther is going to pan out. Right. Um, so if you're interested in this new Ultimate Black Panther run, Keep your eye out on it because it's moving on the secondary market. This book is written, written by um, Brian Edward Hill and, uh, and, and the artist by Stefano Caselli. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. I've enjoyed it and you may enjoy it as well. All right. So keep your eye out on it. At the list at number nine, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 294, the direct edition. Yeah. Now, this is the death of Craven the Hunter. Now, we've been hearing Marvel talk a lot about uh, putting the Craven the Hunter in the new Spider-Man movies. We haven't seen them just yet, but there is a strong possibility that we're going to see Craven the Hunter real soon. But for some reason, the death of Craven, Craven the Hunter is spiking right now. This book is up 83.99% with a high sale of $720. And that was back in 2022 for CGC 9.8. Now, the last recorded sell for this book was $20, and that was for a raw copy, with the average price for a raw copy being $13, and the average price for a graded copy being roughly about $245. There has been a total of 1,100 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market, and it's still climbing. This book is all the way up, <laughs> right? So if you want to stay up, Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so every time we do a video, you guys will get that notification. And for a bonus, stick around to the end because we not only have new comic books that I picked up on New Comic Book Day, but we've got some 9.8s that I want to unbox with you guys and get your opinion on. So we got all that and then some. And plus, you got me. <laughs> C3. It's good vibes only, baby. We are only here for the love of the hobby, so check your nonsense at the door, all right? At the list at number eight, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about X-Men, issue number 213, 
And this is when Psylocke joins the X-Men. All right. Now, keep in mind, this is also the first cameo of Mr. Sinister in Silhouette. So we get to see his crazy behind in Silhouette, right? Um, and just hearing his voice in our head as, you know, how it was written. And I thought that was pretty dope because I, that that's one of the ways that you used to really enjoy comics, how the artist and the, uh, and the writer, you know, used to bring the character to life in your head, in your mind, right? In your thoughts. So to me, you know, you could really hear this individual speaking. All right, so listen, this book is up 86.99%, right? Average price for a raw copy right now is just $19, my friends. Average price for a graded copy is $142. Now, there's been a total of 1,486 copies of this book that has transpired, that has changed hands on the secondary market, and we had a high sale that took place back in 2021 for CGC 9.8, and that was for $430, right? And that was back in uh, 2021. I'm almost certain that you can get this book for a lot less at this moment right now. Fair market value has it resting at $19 for the raw copy in their mint condition. This book is one definitely to keep your eyes on, ladies and gentlemen. The community appears to be excited about this book. It's moving. Um, so you're definitely going to want to make sure that you chime in. Let it, Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this book? This book is definitely one I think is PC worthy. Um, and X-Men 213, it's, it's making waves, my guy. So don't sleep. All right. At the list at number seven. All right. We're seeing doubles here this week, ladies and gentlemen, all right? We got another uncanny book that we want to talk about. Um, at number seven on the list, guys, we got X-Men, issue number 248, and this is the direct edition. This is some of Jim Lee's first published artwork um, on X-Men series, right? And this book is up 97.98% with a high sell of $3,700, right? And that was for a CGC 9.9. .9. That was back in 2022, Last recorded sale for this book was $19. Now, the average price for a roll copy is just $8. I know, guys. Perfect price point for buying. $8, right, for a raw copy. Now, average price for a graded copy will run you roughly about 94 bucks, depending on whatever grade you get it in. Now, there has been a total of 914 sales, recorded sales for this book so far, right? With plenty of room for glow, with pl plenty of room for growth, uh, this is some of Jim Lee's first published artwork on the Uncanny series, right? So check your budget. See if you can grab yourself a copy. And if so, now may be a good time for you to pull the trigger. This book is at a low right now. So keep your eye out on it because it's moving on the secondary market. All right, and holding down that number six spot, right? It's another modern release, and it's hot, ladies and gentlemen. But most importantly, it is a key. Yes, it is a key. And the title is Avengers Twilight, issue number two. This is the Daniel Acuna variant that everybody's going after right now. Yeah, it's a beautiful cover. Um, first appearance of the Thunderbolts. Uh, first appearance of the new Bullseye, Ramona Jones. So you get a twofer in this one, right? This book is up a whopping 133%, 100.33%, just to be accurate, uh, with the average price for a raw copy being $6. Because this is a new book right now, there is no graded information. But the moment one becomes graded, I'll make sure I keep my eye on it and I'll report it back to you guys. There's been a total of 33 sales for this book so far, with a high sale of $15 for a raw copy, and that was back in March. Now, this book is such a sweet buy-in, $6 fair market value for the raw copy and their main condition. I don't think this is this is a book that you can't go wrong with. This new Twilight series, and it, it, between the new Avengers Twilights and these new Ultimates that they're putting out, I think they're all good reads, so they're definitely worth taking a look at. All right, so uh, Twi uh, Avengers Twilight issue number two, that Daniel Acuna variant, it's moving. Keep your eye out on it because you may want to get yourself in. All right, guys. At the list at number five. I'm not surprised that this book made the list. Um, I knew it was going to do well. I watched it. I, I, I listened to how the community was reacting to it, right? 
this, look, Ninja Turtle fans, stand up. This book is for you. When it first came out, I grabbed a few copies and, and I continue to collect them. And, it, and I'm actually happy to see that not only do I have good taste, <laughs> but it is also doing well on the secondary market, right? Let's talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, The Lost Years, issue number one. And this is the SL Gallant regular cover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, listen. It's the first appearance of Odin, Uno, Mosa, and Yi, right? Definitely worth having. New characters being introduced into the into the series. Uh, excellent read. Really enjoyed the story. The artwork is eye-popping. Listen, as a collector, this is what I like getting my hands on. I love, A, a good story. B, the interior artwork. And, 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 and C, man. The cover is just phenomenal. You could just stare at this cover and just really, really dive into to, to the character sitting there and try to, what is he thinking about? Like, he looks intense. His atmosphere, like everything that's going on with this particular character, man, it just draws you in and it, and it just really secures the package, right? It's just a nice, nicely put together package. And this comic book is now doing numbers on the secondary market. It is up. 101.19% with the average price for a raw copy being $5. So you can't go wrong there. <laughs> $5 price point for buying, right? Average price for a graded copy is $115, which is still not bad. If you can get your hands on a high grade 9.8 for about $115, $125, I think that's a steal. Uh, there's a total of 363 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market with the high sell being $150 for a raw copy in near mint condition. Now, fair market value has it rested at $5 for the raw copy in near mint condition. And I think, again, that's a great price point for buy-in. So don't forget, make sure you hit that like button. But also, before you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Right, Because one thing I want to make sure that we are doing is, A, getting the information that we need when we go out to our local comic book shops. Yes, I said your local comic book shops. Don't forget, even though I give you guys a weekly update on what's moving on the secondary market, take this list, go to your local comic book shop, and see if they have any of these books in store. Yes, we got to support our brick and mortar guys. All right, we got to let them know that we got love for them too because they're still pretty much a big part of the hobby. So make sure you're supporting your local LCS, man, and tell them C3 sent you. <laughs> they're going to be like, who the hell is that? <laughs> who is that? We don't know who that is. But anyway, tell them I sent you because it's important that we support our local comic book shops because we love them, right? But if they don't have it and they can't get their hands on it, then you'll go ahead and defer to the secondary market, right? Because you know you can find it there. <laughs> and feel free to ask for a better price because, yeah, they be kind of wilding with these prices on the internet, all right? So support your local LCS, support your local brick and mortars. That's my spew, all right? That was number five on the list. Normally, I would take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for stopping by, checking out the channel. I couldn't do this without you. Yes, it is always good vibes only. I don't got time for the nonsense. Leave a comment down below. If you like this type of content, I'll continue to put it out for you. Any of these books that you have or don't have and you want to talk about it, we can chop it up down below too. It's all good. And like I said, hang around to the end because we got unboxings and I got some new comic books that I want to show you that we picked up on New Comic Book Day. So if you go out on the weekend, you may want to grab a couple for yourself. It's all good in the hood, baby. It ain't no fun if the comic book community can't have none. Like, subscribe, share, hit that button. We here, all right? We around like a circle. Let's do it. At the list at number four, my guys, we're going to talk about Fantastic Four, <clears throat> issue number 129, and this is the first appearance of Thundra. Oh, yeah. Now, this book has been moving for quite some time now, but it has finally made it to where I can give it some 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 representation. <laughs> We're going to give this book some representation on Keep It Comics. This book is up a whopping 124%, all right, with the high sale being $1,195, and that was for CGC 9.8 back in 2019. So I think that 
consider today's atmosphere on the on the market that you can get this book for a little bit less, man. Maybe even a lot less. All right. Now, last recorded sale for this book was ten dollars, with the average price being uh twenty four dollars, and with the average graded price being a hundred and eight dollars. Six hundred and sixty books changed hands on the secondary market so far, all right? Now, you can't go wrong. With a price point like this, with a great story, great cover, some first, a great first appearance, this is an awesome three for ladies and gentlemen. So take a look at it, do a little research. You may want to add this to your collection. You can't go wrong, all right? So keep your eye out for Fantastic Four, issue number 129. I actually love the cover. Thundra, Medusa, got their hands on the thing, giving them the business. Yo, this is super dope. So keep your eye on it. It's moving, guys. All right? Number three on the list. This book has done a complete 360, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it went from no one talking about it to number three on this list. I remember everybody was trying to give these books away. I actually got a few in the mail that people gave me. Let's talk about Dark Hawk, issue number one. <laughs> right? Yo, this is the first appearance of Dark Hawk. Nobody was talking about this book for a long time. It's like nobody wanted it. They were just getting rid of it, right? But right now, this book is doing so good on the secondary market that I had to report about it. Up. 127.40%, right? The average price for a raw copy is $47 right now. Average price for a graded copy is $108. Now, this book has moved 3,094 units so far as a total recorded sales on the secondary market. Now, last recorded sale was $12, and that was for a raw copy. But we did have a high sale back in 2020 for $9.8, and that was for $432. There are still some Dark Hawk fans out there, so I don't want to count them out, and I don't want to be disrespectful, but this book is moving on the market for a reason. So those of you who gave your books away may want to try to <laughs> get your hands on another one, all right? But for a while, a bunch of collectors were just selling them and getting rid of them, but now looks like the turnaround is real, man. So keep your eye out for Dark Hawk, issue number one. Because it's moving on the secondary market. Unexpectedly, but it's definitely moving, man. All right? So watch out for it. All right? Now, number two on the list. I had this comic in my hands so many times, but I never pulled the trigger on it. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit of FOMO setting in. Right? Somebody paid $1,300 for this book. And I've seen this book in the dollar bin on a number of occasions. And I'm pretty sure many of you have, too. Let's talk about Kazar, issue number one. Yes, Kazar is hot. Can you believe it? Come on, man. Who knew? I didn't. I, man, listen, I'm thumbing through. I see it. I go right by it. Kazar, issue number one is hot. Uh, this one is featuring Daredevil and the X-Men. This book reprints the first appearance of Kazar in X-Men issue number 10, right? Now, this book is up. A total of 201.96% increase in copies that have sold so far, with a high sell being $1,350, ladies and gentlemen. $1,350. Uh, and listen, the last recorded sell for this book was that $1,350. And that was for a raw copy back on March 19th of 2024, my guys. Yes. 1300 bucks for Kazar, issue number one. Man, you know how disappointed I am right now? And I can actually remember in my head how many, which stores I saw this book in. And it makes me want to go back and, and I'm, I'm actually going to go back. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going back and try to get my hands on this book. <laughs> and I hope that God, one of them has it because I'm going back for it. All right. Now, average price for a raw copy right now is $16, my friends. Average price for the graded copy is $194, all right? There's been a total of 293 sales of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Kazar, issue number one, is hot once again. Keep your eye out on it. All right, my friends. Once again, thank you for stopping by, checking out the channel. Like, subscribe, share. Because now it's time to talk about the number one comic book on the market. And that book is Avengers, issue number 45, Silver Age Goodness, When Hercules Joins the Avengers. 
oh yeah, you had to know that this one was coming around. Marvel's been hinting at this one a lot. So I'll be interested to see how this one plays out on the big screen, right? Yo, this book is up a gazonga, right? I just made that word up. This book is up a gazonga 320, 320.66%. Yes, this book is all the way, all the way up, right? Average price for a raw copy, $10. Average price for a greater copy, $199, my friends. With a total of 658 sales that has transpired thus far, this book continues to rise in sales, right? Increase in copies sold. It is going to do so for quite some time until we see something change uh, coming from Marvel, right? So I'm anticipating that this book is going to do very well uh, on the secondary market. It's still not a bad price point for buy-in. Raw copy, $10. Average graded, $199. But the high sale was for $1,169. And that was for a CGC 9.6. This book is going to be difficult for you to get your hands on in a 9.8. But it is possible. It's probably going to cost you, right? But this book is definitely worth it. When Hercules joins the Avengers, that's definitely a book you want to add in your collection. Fair market value has it resting at $10 for a raw copy in very good condition. This one's going to be difficult to land in 9.8. But if you are that person, if you're that collector, and you got the skill and the capital, man, make it happen, Captain. I'm rooting for you. But this is a dope book. It is at the list at number one. So if you're looking for it, get your hands on one, but be very careful and pick your poison wisely. Listen, I'm your boy C3. And just like I promised, that's your list. Top 10 hottest comic books on the market this week. Hey, be wise. Don't do anything foolish. FOMO is real. I think I might have gotten bit myself. <laughs> but I'm going to go take a little medicine and try to calm it down. But before I do, let me take a sip of the vibe juice. And let me show you some of these dope comics that I picked up this week for New Comic Book Day. You know what it is. All right, here's my bag. Look, nothing crazy. I've always told you guys I was going to cut back on the monitors because I'm focusing more on filling my collection with the keys that I've been wanting. I've been doing pretty good at that, right? Uh, so, and I'll show those to you just as soon as we're done with these few comic books, all right? So the first book I want to show you, these books came out this past new comic book day, Star Wars, Throne Alliance, issue number three. Oh, yeah. Definitely happy to get my hands on that, enjoying that series. I am going to set these right here. We have The Ultimate Spider-Man. And this is issue number two. The design variant. Yep. This is Black Panther, issue number 10. We have Web of Spider-Man, issue number one. And this is that Greg Capullo cover. This is literally just a cover purchase for me, guys. I only wanted the I only wanted the Capullo cover. That's it. I paid seven ninety nine for that. Yes, I did. I I paid seven ninety nine for a cover. I do that from time to time. Sometimes I'll go out of my way just to grab some artwork. Yes, I will. There's nothing wrong with it. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this is issue number one. And I believe we got a a, a cover appearance of uh, Shredder's Daughter. Yeah, I didn't know Shredder uh, was, was making babies. <laughs> All right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is another number one. I have the other ones too, so I'm happy to be able to like add this one. Add this one to the collection. All the all the uh, the skeleton joints. So that's gonna be dope when I line those up together. We've got Star Wars issue number five. This is Star Wars: The High Republic issue number five. This has just been an awesome read. It's been consistent too, man. They're doing really well with this book. I know Star Wars fans are really enjoying that. We have, from Image Comics, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, and I couldn't let this pass up. The Cobra Commander on the cover? Looking gangsters, I don't know what. Man, listen, I had to have it. 
Yeah. All right. Last but not least, not last but not least, I have this book already, but I just grabbed it again for the cover because I just think it's a dope cover. And this is Thundercats issue number one, and I got that Rob Liefeld joint. I'm actually hoping to get a chance to meet Mr. Liefeld so I can have him sign something for me. See if I can catch him out at one of the cons, man. Alright, so those are the comic books that I picked up for New Comic Book Day. Now, I got some unboxings that I want to show you guys. Look at this. Yeah, so we're going to pop these open real quick and see what's on the inside. And then, we're going to go on about our day. Alright? So, we grab this little baby right here. See what we can get into. You guys know the routine. Cue the music, but keep your clothes on. <laughs> this is a friendly family channel. <laughs> None of that foolishness over here. Well, at least not, you know. <laughs> uh, not anything we can't bear. All right. Here we go. That's how this one came. It appears to be secure. Take the tape. I love the blue tape. It's easier to get into. Let's see what we got here. Did they tape it to the cardboard? Yep, they even taped it to the cardboard. Let me untape it. All right. I can I can I can respect you trying to keep the book secure, so I'll never fuss about that. Okie dokie. Alright. This is what we got. We'll move a couple pieces of tape here and there. I forgot what this one is, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see. What now what did I get for us? Let me see. What did I get us? Alright. Again, taking my time because I don't want to damage anything. Check out what I got us, right? Uh we got Animal Man, issue number 13. Who's familiar with that? You guys familiar with Animal Man? Issue number 13, that cover fire, man kidding me? That's insane. We got the Doom Patrol, issue number 13. Look. Yeah. And, hold up, I gotta go. I gotta retrieve this baby right here. Now I can show you, we got Daredevil, Man Without Fear, and this is issue number 183. Yeah, I had to grab myself a nice copy of this. I have one in my collection, but it's not as nice as this one, so I'm happy to upgrade. Yep. So those are the three books that I came in that box. I'm going to place those right here as well. Let's do another one. Let's do it. Real quick. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the channel. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the encouraging comments in the comment section, man. It really keeps me going. I hope you guys have been enjoying your list. I'm trying to get better at putting the list out regularly and uh what's the words i'm looking for with more accuracy so thank you for being patient with me because it's not an easy task right but again i'm learning i'm having a lot of fun and i get to engage and enjoy and hang out with you guys man so i appreciate you let's see what we got here this is how this one came it's in the Yes, after the uh, the mailer, this is what we got. 
I just want to get it out of the plastic. Okay. This one is weird. I don't think I've ever got one like this. Oh, oh that's why. They trapped it between two pieces of cardboard. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. That was funny. Here we go. All right, now, this is another Daredevil, Man Without Fear versus The Punisher. This is issue 257. And as you can see, the list that I show you guys is not just a list of comics that I'm trying to hype you up to buy. I, too, also purchase items off my list. The list that I show you guys is a list that I carefully comprise of books that I may want to add to my collection and I share them with you. It is a hot 10 list, but it's not the other guy's hot 10 list. It's my hot 10 list. Oh, it's just a made-up list. Well, so are the other guys. They're just making up the list. Why well, I can't make a list? <laughs> Why do I have to get what's on their list? I'll make my own list. <laughs> All right, I got my own taste. Let's do another book. Let's do another book. And here we go. All right. This one came, well, this one came open pretty quick. Fairly simple, right? All right, so look, this is what we got. Oh, this is dope. First, we got the Star Wars High Republic Adventures. This came out last week also. This is semi-hot, so keep your eye out for this book. Star Wars High Adventures, and this is Star Wars High Republic Adventures, issue number four. This book is semi-hot. We're going to call this lukewarm, so keep your eye out on it, all right? And I grabbed two of those. I also grabbed Vampirella issue number 666. Uh-oh. Vampirella issue number 666. Dope cover. Right? Can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. And what the story is. All right. Now... Let's pop open this gigantic baby right here and see what we got. Now, I did order some graded books. And because I have two of them here, I don't know which one this is that I'm opening. But we're about to find out. All right. One book is a tribute. And the other is one that I couldn't pass up on because it finally came so far down that I was like, it's a no-brainer. Now, okay, so I'll put that there. Now I know what this book is. If you guys are looking to get your hands on some good stuff, we're going to shout this individual out. Here you go. Check them out. All right, I don't mind doing that. We're gonna move the tape on this baby so we can open her up. Now, the creator of this particular comic has passed away. So, rest in peace to you, Kira. But I had to get myself Dragon Ball Z, right? Yep, this is Dragon Ball Z, issue number three. And I grabbed this book because I wanted to pay tribute, but also just get my hands on some of his work because Dragon Ball Z was like one of the first manga comic uh, 
cartoons that I was really, really getting myself into, right? So I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if any... See, you have to be older to remember uh, Star Arrow, Star Poseidon, Star Dragon, Grandizer, you know, things of that nature. But yep, the creator of this book has passed away, right? So I wanted to get myself a copy just to have in my collection, right? Akira Yuriyama, right? The story. Yep, Akira Yuriyama. Yep, he was the creator. He passed away. So I apologize for butchering the name the first time, but rest in peace to the comic book creator. Very nice um, artwork here. I love it. It's in a 9.8. Looks spectacular in the case. I don't care that it's not signed or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to get one so I could have my class because I didn't have one, right? And when uh, uh, my daughter plays volleyball and the father of another of one of the girls who plays volleyball uh, told me uh, that he had passed away like four days after it happened. So I just went ahead and went online and secured myself a copy. Akira uh, Toriyama. Yep. Dragon Ball Z, guys. Definitely want to add that to my collection. Nice. Very, very nice. All right. Now, this next book, we're going to pop it open and see what it is. And like I said, once again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know. I know. I'm just a big goofball, but I'm all right with that. And I enjoy my comics. And I enjoy hanging out with you guys. So. It's just about having a good time for me. <laughs> and like I said. Remember. You clicked on this face. <laughs> Alright guys. Before we go. Like, subscribe, share. The next book, the last book I want to show you, this book finally came down. I've been watching this book for about two and a half years. And I got it at a great price, and I'm happy about it. Universal Grade, Invincible Iron Man, issue number seven. Face it, Tiger. I'm the boss. <laughs> Yay. Yep, and if I'm not prepared, I think this is like the first appearance of Riri Williams. Yeah, got it in 9-8, caught it for a steal. This is the first appearance of Tomo, first appearance of Riri and Cameo on the last page, Woman of Power variant cover. Yes, so this is how we are celebrating Women's Month. Yes, got me a Woman of Power variant that I'm going to add to my collection. I'm going to hang it proudly in one of my rooms. No, actually, I'm going to put it in the box, bag it, put it in the box, and wait till I get to my bigger house. And then I'll put it in the case. That's what I'll do. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Real quick before you go, let me hit you with your trivia question. Oh, you thought I forgot? Nah, if you could tell, you just see, I just switched up the format of the video this week. So we're going to do things just slightly different, but it's all still here. Now, can somebody, and leave a comment in the comment section. If you know the answer to this, leave the comment down below. What does Kingpin claim he does as a high legitimate business, as his legitimate business? What does Kingpin do when he claims his legitimate business? What does King, King Pin claim he does as his legitimate business? What does Kingpin claim that he does as his le legitimate business? If you have the answer to that, leave it down below in the comment section. Yes. All my Daredevil and Kingpin fans, what does Kingpin do? Talk to me. All right? I appreciate you guys. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the channel. I had a lot of fun putting this video together for you. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun watching it. It is what it is. I do it for the love. I do it for the culture, baby. And it is always good vibes. All right? See you guys next video. Keep it comics. <laughs> Later, Gators. You know.